After completing this lesson, you'll be able to choose the version of an assembly to share with users of Revit MEP, and we'll use shrink wrap to remove details from the model. Beginning with the assembly, we see that we have an electric furnace design, that is, an eye assembly. So, with a double click, we can change the furnace over to the gas version. The model has already been somewhat simplified, but through the use of simplification, we'll remove all of the intellectual property that isn't critical for the people installing the equipment or planning for the installation to be able to use our product. Switching to the Environments tab, we'll select the BIM Content Tools. In the BIM Content Tools, we see Simplify, MEP Connectors, How to Author the Components, and Export the Components, as well as Connect to Configurator 360 if that's a tool you're presently using. We'll start the Shrink Wrap Substitute tool. With this tool, we can choose any representation we might have, whether it be a view representation, a positional representation, or a level of detail representation. We can remove components by size. If components are completely obscured, they might automatically be selected for exclusion. For this assembly, we'll need to select components for exclusion. To make it a little easier to choose, I'll pick the outer housing, though we'll want to include that eventually. Then, select the other components. By switching the view to Excluded, I can pick the outer housing again and have it included again. On the Features tab, we can choose to remove holes, fillets, chamfers, and pockets. We can remove none of these features, all of these features, or select specific size ranges to remove. Since this is a sheet metal part and has a lot of fillets, we'll remove all of them. Selecting Preview, we can see that the model is capped off on the ends. We can then define the name of a file, how we want to maintain the solid, either as a single body, a single body that maintains faces between, or multiple bodies. Clicking OK, it will generate this new substitute solid as a file and bring it back into the model to use as a representation. We'll use this representation to place connectors in the next lesson.